Hey guys, it's Mike Nardi here. In this video, we're gonna be doing another Fiverr seller review. This time around, our seller's from Malaysia and his name is Nyam Te. I hope I pronounced that right. The gig we're gonna be reviewing is where he provides video spokesperson services for people around the world. He speaks English, Chinese, Malay, and Japanese. Four languages and he can help you translate into each of them for his videos. That's pretty impressive. And as always, I'm gonna start with his fun fact. And in his case, he's got a couple. So not only does he enjoy spending his weekends on the beach with his acoustic guitar, but he's also a black belt in karate. So he can serenade, you know, find some people on the beach and romance them with his music. And then he can also defend them in a street fight because he's got a black belt. And he's recently run a half marathon and is training towards his first full marathon. That is pretty impressive. Uh, back last year, near the end of last year, I ran my first half marathon. It was so hard, I was like dying near the end. So it's super impressive that you've done one yourself and you're going for the you know double distance in the full marathon. Good work, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm about to get into the review. I took, I took the time to review both your Fiverr profile and your gig. Thank you so much for your submission and everyone else who submitted your information for me to review. I hope these are super helpful for you to review and improve on your gigs to help you make better first impressions with your buyers, ultimately resulting in more orders. So I'm gonna get into the review portion of the video right now. All right, so starting with uh, Nyam TE's profile. So starting at your profile picture, you know, if you watch any of my other seller reviews, you know that I'm a huge fan of using an actual picture here. So I love that you got a picture of yourself giving the thumbs up. I think that's great. Um, going into the first line of your profile description, uh, you list your repeat order is our best satisfaction and our utmost priority. So I don't think this is bad necessarily. I, I just think that you should be using you know, these sections to give buyers an immediate impression as to the types of services you can offer. So if you, you know, were to use that to instead maybe put a one liner saying that, you know, you're a video spokesperson, you do translation work or, you know, hint at things like that. I think that's just a better use of the space. Um, you know, since you do have such limited real estate on your Fiverr profile section to really make an impression. Uh, it's not bad. You can keep it if you want, but I, I would make this relevant to the types of services you can provide. Um, so scrolling down, you put in a gig description. So, you know, you list you've been doing this since 2017. That's awesome. Uh, you speak and you write Chinese, Malay and English. That is super impressive. So I love that you included that in here. Um, and then you mentioned research the best hot 2020 profitable products for your Shopify and Amazon store. Okay, so you do product research. You do a unique video spokesperson using HD equipment. Awesome. You can do content writing. That's great. 100% uh, a section satisfaction guarantee. Okay. Money back refund. Uh, I've said this in the last review. I think that is a horrible idea for every seller that offers it. So if, if you want to include satisfaction guarantee, that's awesome. Guarantee their satisfaction. Offering them money back puts you at a disadvantage if you ever run into a buyer that just wants to take advantage of you, get the work delivered, and then you know dispute with you that they want a money back guarantee honored because they weren't totally satisfied. It's just something you want to avoid. So I, I always recommend removing that. Um, you know, you list after that 24 seven instant replies, satisfaction guarantee order now. I think that's all great. The only thing I would change in your description is take out the money back refund guarantee. You know, I don't want to give money back to buyers after I've delivered work. And I don't think you should either, especially given that Fiverr has already taken their cut. And essentially to give their money back on Fiverr, you need to cancel the order, which hurts your seller statistics. So remove that and you're good to go there on the description. Um, moving on down. So you list all the languages you speak. <laughs> I think this is so impressive. You know, you speak English, Chinese, Malay, and basic Japanese. I I'm from Canada. I speak English. I can barely, sp I can't speak French at all. And that's our second language. It is so impressive that you can speak four. That's awesome that you list it. You put that you did a basic English test. That's great as well. And then you, you list some of your skills. And you know, right here, I think you have an opportunity to go a little deeper into some of the skills you offer. So you put, you know, drop shipping. You mentioned above that you can help pick profitable 
profitable products. You might be want to put, you know, product marketing or you know, just some more skills that go a little bit deeper into the services you offer. Um, you know, can't hurt from an SEO perspective, and it also can't hurt from the perspective of having a buyer uh, visit your profile and be able to get, you know, a full picture of what you're able to do. Overall, I think the profile is awesome. I would consider, you know, making this a little bit more targeted to your skills. Definitely remove the money back guarantee. I think that is just horrible for any seller. It just sounds like a nightmare to me. Um, and then, yeah, maybe add a couple more skills relevant to what you do. And again, love that you put your education here. So far, profile looks pretty good. Okay, so jumping into the actual gig. This is the gig that NMTE wanted me to review for him. Uh, and it is titled, I will film a green screen spokesperson video in HD. Um, you know, since we're here, starting with the subject line, I think it's it's good. Um, I'm not an expert on the green screen spokesperson video niche, but it seems like you put the right keywords in there. And um, you know, the, the title, if someone were to come across that in Fiverr search, it's pretty straightforward what they would get. Um, now moving down, your first part of your gallery was a video. So I'm gonna play that first for everyone to see, and then I'll give some comments on it. Hey, this is Nam D here. Welcome to my final gigs. So I will do a creative videos for you. Either you want this background, this background, or any backgrounds that you want, no problem. I also can speak three languages for you. Chinese, English, and Malay. Whichever you want. Just PM me down below or just order right away. I'm very glad to serve you. Thank you very much. Uh, and order right now. This is Nam D and thank you. Okay, so again, I think it's super impressive that you speak a number of different languages. The one thing that kept sticking out to me in this video was the timing. It looked like the audio and video wasn't really synced. Um, I'll show a clip of that as I'm going through this or you know, just review the clip I just played, but you know, if you're gonna be making green screen videos for people on Fiverr, Odds are they're either using it for like their YouTube channel or for their business. It, that needs to be perfect. So I, I know, you know, syncing stuff up isn't necessarily intuitive for most people. And I, I personally don't know how to do it very well myself. But if you Google it, you know, how to sync audio and video, there are so many tutorials to show you how to do that. Take a couple minutes, review those tutorials, and get this audio and video synced up. So a couple things, like you were snapping your fingers and the backgrounds were changing, but most importantly, um, where your skills are really lying, the value you can bring is the fact that you're so versatile with how many languages you can speak. So since this video wasn't synced, I saw your mouth moving, but the audio wasn't playing at the same rate. So I didn't know if you were actually speaking the language, like English for the video, or if you just dubbed over a recorded video of you speaking in another language. Whatever the case, make sure that that's synced up, make sure you're speaking the language that's the same as the audio, so you're actually demonstrating to your buyers um, that you can actually do this, you can make a professional green screen video, and you're good to go. So that, that's what I would change there, I would just do a little bit more work in making that uh, portfolio video a little cleaner and a little more professional. Uh, it seems like you have the skills, you know, the backgrounds are popping up, you're obviously using a green screen and you know what you're doing. Just sync the audio with the video and that'll, you know, put the cherry on top and give buyers the confidence they need to trust that you know what you're doing. Um, you know, moving on, so you put a couple of thumbnails here, you know, video spokesperson, you know, choose your language from Mandarin, Malay, and English, that's awesome. Natural setting, I think that's fantastic. Um, I, I might just put, you know, any setting, since it's green screen, you could essentially put whatever background you want. And then cr clear and crisp audio with the shotgun mic. Again, your audio was pretty good. I would just make sure that you sync it up with the video so it all lines up. Uh, I like this, uh, why you should choose me. Um, this is something that not enough sellers do. You know, if a buyer's looking at you, I promise you they're looking and comparing you to other sellers uh, on the platform. So putting this here and explaining why they should choose you, um, that, that, that's fantastic. Um, next is what you'll get. Again, you know, amazing. You're getting a recording with HD camera, a crisp mic, um, practice and rehearsal. You'll do it eight times, that's great and use lighting, which is awesome. So we know you're using a professional setup. It's awesome you included this. Um, 
this, I, I don't know. I, I guess you're showing the backgrounds, but again, you know, everything else seems to be kind of templated and nice. This is just like a screenshot of a Word doc. I would try to find a better way of showing the backgrounds you could include versus just a screenshot of a doc. Uh, okay, so this is good. I would I would put this in the gig though. Anything about, you know, how much backgrounds are gonna cost and how many words, that should be down here, like in the gig packages and stuff, so that there's no confusion when they actually order. Okay, there's, there's a lot here. So I, I'm just going to stick to what I've reviewed so far. So I, I think it's great. Uh, I would update the video to make sure the audio is synced and then maybe clean up. Like you don't need this many videos and pictures. You know, include your best portfolio pieces here from a video perspective so they can see what you're capable of, you know, the best work you can do. And then these pictures explaining what they'll get and why they should choose you are great. All right, so here's the gig description. I'm gonna read through this and let you know my thoughts. So hey, you've come to the right place. If you need an HD male video spokesperson who can speak English, Chinese, Malay, and Japanese, I use a green screen to record a quality, clear video for you in 1080p with a crisp audio sound. All video packages come with HD camera and crisp audio sound, okay. Please provide the script and let the video speak for itself. I like that. What's special about my gig? So it's affordable. You don't need to translate the script itself. I'll do it for you to the language you desire. That's awesome. That's a huge value for people who don't speak the language they want the video in. Um, you then list that you take uh, multiple role play shots to achieve the best perfection outcome as possible. Um, so I guess what, what you're trying to say here is that you know you'll do what you need to do to make sure the outcome is good. I might just brush this up, and you know it doesn't really read naturally in English. Um, Maybe you could say something like, I do what I need to do or I'll do multiple takes to ensure that the outcome is to your liking. Uh, something like that might sound a lot better. Um, you're a native English speaker, great. And then you're you're actually like quadrilingual. So that's super impressive that you can speak these four languages. I think that's really good. Um, you then list that you can also accept custom offers. Um, so professional videos. You don't do testimonial videos where you pretend to be a satisfied customer. I think that is awesome. Speaks towards your you know, credibility. No cursing or foul language. Again, good. And no derogatory videos. I think that's good. You, you, you put out clean, wholesome content. I like that. Um, you look forward to working them. And then you put a link to YouTube. I would maybe, whatever this is, like I'm not going to search for it, but if there's a video you want to show, put that in your gallery. I don't know if Fiverr likes when links are put in the description. I, I don't, I can't verify that, but I just, it doesn't seem natural to me to have a, a link linking out of your Fiverr description to YouTube. So if that's a video of your work and a portfolio piece, get that up here in one of these recorded spots and, and that'll serve you better. Uh, and then you just close off with hire me as your spokesperson. It will definitely make you close convert and generate more sales and ultimately make you more money and do what you want. I think that's great. Um, I would brush up on some of the wording here, uh, but overall, I think that this is a good description. Um, you know, you put the, the languages you speak, you have spokesperson in here and green screen, a couple of your keywords, which I think is really good. Um, I, I like it. I think it's good. So what, what I would do here that's different, I would keep the, the subject line the same. I would clean up your portfolio section. You got a lot of stuff here, you know, try to limit it to four or five thumbnails max. Like n nobody wants to sit here and flip through a million different things, especially like some of these have like, not this one, but some of them are a little distorted. Like the dimensions are a little off. Just make sure that you're only including the best videos of your work uh, to give a good indication of what you can do. Otherwise, I think this is pretty good. You know, you're obviously already killing it. You're a level two seller. Um, but yeah, with those changes, I think that would really hit the mark and give a better first impression to people who are coming across this gig looking for this type of work to get done. All right, Yamte, those are my thoughts.
I think you provide a pretty cool service that people probably want to buy, especially given that you can speak four languages. And don't just take my word for it. The fact that you're already a level two seller and killing it and getting orders shows that your services are in high demand. The tips I'm giving in this video are just to help you take things to the next level and avoid any buyers who might be rubbed the wrong way or get the wrong first impression uh, on your gigs. Hopefully, you know, some of the things I'm suggesting can help you massage things and just, you know, sharpen how you're coming off to your buyers. So I hope they're helpful. So in summary, here are the tips that I think you should take from this video to help you improve. The first is on your Fiverr profile. Remove any wording that states that you offer a money back guarantee. That is a headache. Don't do it. It sets the wrong impression with your buyers and if you get the wrong type of buyer, they're going to abuse you with that. Remove money back guarantees. It's, it's, don't do it. Just don't do it. Trust me. The second thing is on your gig portfolio. Make sure the audio and video of your portfolio pieces are properly synced. As I went through in this video, that first clip you have, the, your mouth is moving at a different pace than the audio. As someone who's selling services where you're doing green screen spokesperson videos, you want to instill the confidence in your buyers that everything's gonna be perfect. And if in your portfolio it's not, as a buyer, I wouldn't feel confident ordering from you. So if you just tweak that and align the audio with the video, I think that's a perfect example of the work you can do for that. Uh, the second thing that has to do with your gig, it just has to do with the number of pieces of your portfolio included. I'd recommend limiting it to four or five of your best pieces. Nobody wants to scroll through dozens of, you know, Fiverr samples. And also, if all of them aren't great studio production quality pieces, you don't want to show them. You want them to see the stuff that you can do best so that when they're ordering from you, they're confident that you can do that same level and deliver that same level of quality service on their project because that's what they really want. And lastly, uh, there was a couple of lines in, in your gig description that I pointed out. I would just give it a once over. Some of the things didn't really read naturally in English and you know, since you've chosen to write your gig in English, I would just make sure that it reads well, right? You want them to know that if you're someone who's translating from Chinese or Malay or Japanese to English or vice versa, you want them to know that you know, you, you know how to speak the language well and, and the grammar's right. I think you definitely have that. You know, the rest of your gig and your profile are written really well. Just take a look at those couple lines and tweak them up so that they read a little bit better. And that's it. Overall, I think you have an awesome profile and awesome gigs that you're offering. You're obviously on your way um, you know, to making more money on Fiverr. You have a number of great reviews and I'm sure they're gonna keep coming in. So thanks again for submitting your information to me. I hope these tips are helpful both to you and anyone else watching this channel. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. I try to put out videos like this every week. So thanks again for watching, cheers.